Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Dr. Raju Sika. You are here to learn about research. Today, we'll talk about how to select research area. See, you are planning to do a PhD. You do not know which area you want to select because even I do get a lot of calls from viewers that, sir, which area I should do the PhD, how to select the PhD topic and other stuff. See, PhD topic cannot be uh, acquired from the other professors. You should select on your own. There are five parameters you have to follow. First to one, your interest. See, respect, uh, respect of your field, uh, identify your interest. No, you know, whether you are in English, whether you are in engineering or science or anything, what you like most, probably, if you select that particular area, you may do very well because you already like that particular area. So you will love to read, you will love to work it. So that is the best option to identify which one you like most in your subject field. There may be many area will be there. Which area you like it most, so probably you can select that area one based on your liking, liking number two. So second thing is feasibility. See, once you've decided that I like this particular thing, but you require so many uh, equipment to conduct that research. For example, for instance, example in the scientific research, you require some kind of very sophisticated instrument to conduct that research. You don't have that research available in the normal institutions and all, then you have to rethink. Because if your uh, research is not feasible, and you are saying that you are going to work on that particular field and you will not be able to complete your research. So second thing you have to check whether your research area is feasible to work in, in a country, in your respective state or in the particular campus you, uh, college you are planning to apply. So whether you have that facility or can you identify such kind of college available in the entire state or India, can you go there, you can do that. In, without facility, you will not be able to complete the research. For example, I am talking about a uh, research facility, for example, laboratory facility in case it is a science. Third thing, don't select just like the one is your like, another one is feasibility. Third thing, you don't have you don't have any liking, you are you are completely blank, you have to select only now. Then you should do the one thing, you should attend some conferences. And, and learn how what is happening in your field, for example, in your particular subject. Or you go to the uh, uh, internet, just download some papers in your area, uh, broad area. For example, if you are working on uh, what you call maybe uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, theory, then you download certain paper on electromagnetic theory and understand what is happening in your field. That is the field. And probably you read one or two papers, you understand whether it is really uh, no, you get liking towards that particular subject, then you can go further, elaborate, and you can read it. Otherwise, you can skip to the next area. So, the third step is, you have to download a lot of research papers. This is very, very important process. Once you identify one particular uh, topic, then next process is, you have to download a lot of research papers. Lot means here, at least you have minimum 25 research papers you download and read those papers clearly, understand what has happened in that particular field. And you get some basic information about your field, then you will get a clarity whether you can work or whether you can continue in that particular field. Sometimes if you feel that you are unable to understand what is what are the things in that paper, or you understand that this is very difficult to conduct research, even though area is good, but completion will be become difficult, then you leave it. So feasibility because it always te tells you that whether it is possible for you to complete. So here when you read the paper, you can understand, okay, this, uh, this, this particular work I can do, let me continue that way, you can you will be able to analyze. So reading a lot of research papers, that is 25 minimum research papers in the, from the latest research, it will help you to get some idea. This is the fourth tip. Fifth tip, talk to some of your professors or the field, probably your seniors in case you are planning to apply a PhD. And you have some of your seniors are already doing PhD in the particular respective university. You can talk to them, talk to them, they may give some idea. Then you can talk to the professors, probably your UG teachers or PG teachers, and they'll have some idea. And you can talk to them. Or in case if you have, uh, when you, whenever you are attending the conferences, you, you see a lot of people over there, no? some great, some subject experts. You can go and talk to them, 
for example you are you do not know what are the emerging field in literature in case so they'll tell you some idea you can take a green literature you can take post humanism and such kind of thing they'll be telling you and accordingly you can select it got it and the last one one is after doing all these things and you have to read some basic uh, information then decide whether it will be possible or not accordingly you can decide so if you follow this process definitely you'll be able to uh, select your topic and how to select exactly and it is the next process i'll be telling you later thank you bye